So we're trying some examples of right angle trigonometry. So we're finding uh, lengths of sides and angles in right triangles. So the master formula that we're using here is SOHCAHTOA. And remember that SOHCAHTOA only works in angles in triangles where one of the angles is a right angle, so in right triangles. SOHCAHTOA does not work in other kinds of triangles. We're going to learn some more complicated rules later on called the law of cosines and the law of sines that will work in any kind of triangle. Right now we're just looking at right triangles and we're using SOHCAHTOA to figure out the relationships between the lengths of the sides and the measures of the angles. So what we're given here is a right triangle with a short side of length 3 and a hypotenuse of length 7. And we want to find all the angles in the triangle. So let me try to graph this out. We know that it's a right triangle. One angle is a right angle. Short side has length 3 and the hypotenuse has length 7. And we want to find all the angles in the triangle. So I'll label the angles as theta and phi. And I think it'll probably be useful to find the third side of the triangle. So we know that the third side satisfies, if I call it x for the time being, I know that x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 7 squared. So x squared plus 9 is equal to 49. So x squared is 40. And x is equal to the square root of 40. And we could factor a 4 out of that, so 2 square roots of 10. So that one didn't come out to be very neat, as some of the triangles have been. I want to find these angles now. Theta, if I use SOHCAHTOA, I know that sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. That one I deliberately picked one where I wouldn't have to use the square root to make my life just a little bit simpler. So the opposite is 3, the hypotenuse is 7. And so theta itself is arc sine of 3 sevenths. Now remember here, if your calculator is set to radian mode, then you'll get a very strange looking answer here. So if you're looking for degrees, you have to set your calculator to degree mode. On my calculator, that's a matter of pushing the mode button and then moving it over and selecting the degree option. It has two options, degrees and radians. You want to set the degree option if that's the kind of answer you're looking for. So in my case, I'm going to do the inverse sine of 3 divided by 7. And it tells me that it is 25.4 degrees. All right, so that tells me what theta is. I'd like to figure out now what phi is. And if I use the sine, so sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, if I use that for phi, then I'm going to have to look at this ugly number, 2 square roots of 10. So instead, I'm going to use cosine of phi equals the adjacent over hypotenuse. Phi is right there, so the adjacent side is 3. So cosine phi is 3 sevenths. So phi is arc cosine of 3 sevenths. And if I work that out on my calculator, I get 64.6 degrees, approximately. I'm rounding here to the nearest decimal place. So now I have phi. So that gives me all the angles of the triangle, because the last angle is a right angle. But I want to check this by seeing whether those angles add up to 180 degrees. So 25.4 plus 64.6, those add up to 90. And the last angle is a 90 degree angle. Does, in fact, give me 180 degrees. So that's very satisfying to see that those check. Uh, the key there was to remember the SOHCAHTOA formula, which works in all right triangles. And then when we figured out two, well, we were given two sides of, of the triangle. 
we were able to figure out the angles using sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse and cosine of phi equals adjacent over hypotenuse.